Today we are going to discuss about some mysterious parts of JavaScript and uh, by the end of this video you will be learning how to logically answer why this is false or like why this is true the comparison over here and why especially this one is true apart from it why this one is also true uh, almost whatever is mentioned in this uh, comparison whatever things related to comparison in JavaScript you will be able to answer by end by the end of this video and uh, let's get started for this let me just comment down your uh, rest of the things and let's focus on the first one that is empty equal equal to false so first of all uh, the whole of javascript works based on the ecml language specification so i have opened that specification and on the section 11.9.3 it defines the algorithm of abstract equality comparison so abstract equality comparison is just this double equal to and uh, we are just going to see it how it works so uh, let's run through the algorithm and see which one satisfies and we'll apply this particular transformation uh, afterward so let's do it here uh, if i go to like this i guess now i'm here so type of x is same as type of y no type of x is actually an object and type of y is a boolean so let's say this is x y let me move on this part so now if you see uh, x is our object type of array also an object and boolean false is a boolean so it's a boolean so it's not same type so let's skip number one then we have to skip number two and three also because these are not null and these are like not undefined uh, type of x is number no type of x is string no type of x is boolean no type of y is boolean yes type of y is boolean and return the result of comparison x equal to two number y so whenever a boolean value is converted to a number if it is true then it will return as one if it is false then it will return as zero that means if i do something like this two number false it will return me zero and if i do something like two number if i take two value it will return me one so this is what uh whenever whenever what happens actually whenever we convert a boolean value to a number value so that's how uh, we get over it this whole statement reduces to something like this and yes this is true as you can see here this is true similarly uh, now we are going to run away with the algorithm again from first so it's again comparison here so type of x is not same as type of y and uh, again similar thing our uh, second and third will be checked off then uh, type of x is number no type of x is string no type of x is boolean no type of y is boolean no type of x is either string or number not at all then type of x is object yes array is an object and type of y is either string or number so it's a number type of uh, y so this zero is a number so we should return the result of comparison to primitive x equal to, equal to so what is primitives in javascript so as you know there are seven different primitives in javascript and uh, starts from like uh, we have string then we have number boolean big int undefined symbol and null uh, apart from it these are like seven uh, basic uh, primitives and object is not a primitive keep a note object is not a primitive so primitive uh, what happens whatever things in objects in order to convert it to into a primitive there is a special internal method known as two primitive over objects so it takes the object's value with a particular uh, hint that whether you want the object to be converted as a string or as a number and it returns the corresponding type right type value in particular type preferred type so suppose i want the object to be converted into a string it will be returning me an empty string or a fulfilled string whatever it is and if i want an object to be converted to a number then it will return me a number so to primitive it is just converting something into a primitive value in javascript it's an internal method uh, i'll show you like whenever we click on this as soon as we click on this we are over in this table it shows uh, some input types and here uh, if you see there are two things it takes two primitive takes an input argument and optional argument of preferred type okay so for except date objects everything preferred type is usually string uh, fixed it, is, it will be string 
and just for the date objects it's number so what happens for objects a default value returns so it will return a default value for the object and default value is actually again an internal method for the object and the preferred type is passed to that particular method and it returns as a uh, default and it returns as a value based on the preferred type what it does simple default value it's an just think it of as a function default value is a function and hint it can be a string or it can be a number so when it is a string the two string method is called and the final value will be given to the from the object to us so you can even define it from yourself using prototypes and all this uh, and also you can actually just leave it to javascript and let him convert the things let it convert the things for you so whenever uh, what do you say you have an empty string like this dot two string is called it will obviously it will return an empty string it's empty array will return an empty uh, string here so this is what when an object is being converted to primitive so this is what uh, happening here right now as you see uh, as you see here type x is an object type y is either string or number so with uh, result uh, we return the result of comparison to primitive x equal equal to y. so what happens here it will look like this equal equal to zero so our whole statement is now uh, converted into a string and a number comparison so again let's go through the whole algorithm so type of x is same as type of y okay no it's not same uh, we are going to check off it second and three then fourth one is number type of x is number no type of x is string and type of y is number yes the fifth point so here return the result of the comparison to number x equal equal to other so what happens now uh, whenever you have something like two number and inside you have a truthy value uh, which you uh, results to two, the result will be obviously one and when you have a falsy value the result will be zero empty string is a falsy value so it's a falsy value henceforth what you, uh, what you'll get is empty string whenever you convert it into a number that's two number and let's say we have this empty string this will actually resolve to value zero so here we get something like this zero equal equal to zero so this whole thing resolves to true and now let, let's again do the algorithm run through so we have this statement uh, we know this is true just for the sake of algorithm we are doing this again the so type of x and type of y are the same they both are numbers so uh, one is fine then we move to one point a that's it's not undefined check off check off type of x is number yes it's a number if x is not a number we'll just check off this one just check off this one if x is the same number value as y return true so that means this one is really equal to this one x value of this is equal to this so these are primitives so zero is always equal to zero here and henceforth uh, it will give us value true as you can see here we have true value directly over here so this is what the whole idea is whenever we compare things using uh, double equals or the abstract equality comparison and uh, i guess now you have pretty much idea that how this whole comparison happens you can read more down the line for strict equality uh, operator and then you get to know more about the javascript language the beauty of the language so i guess this pretty much sums up uh, everything that you feel mysterious in javascript about equality operations and i hope you like the video so do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel uh, we'll be putting up more such javascript internals and uh, performance videos and all like this thank you so much